Just want to give a big shout out to all my members. I really, really appreciate that. If you want to join, hit that join button, man. I'm going to do some giveaways, start doing some stuff for the members, man, because I really do appreciate everybody. It really helps out the channel. I love everybody like Step Cousins. Man, I hope you're having a wonderful day or night. And as always, be good to yourself, man. Hell freaking Transformers. Yeah. Are you looking for action figures? Then head over to the Chosen Prime. The link is in the description. Just follow that. And man, they got everything your heart desires. Transformers, 5-2 toys, Power Rangers, Turtles, Marvel, DC, statues, whatever you want. Just go over and follow that link, man. You can order everything you want. Just order. Just go over there and order. Well, hey there, everybody. How y'all doing? Hope everybody's having a wonderful day or night. And welcome back to my channel. As always, I'm Deluxe. All right, let's do another What's New in Transformers. Yeah. Love talking about some new Transformers. Don't have them at hand. Just like to chit-chat like I always do. So sit back, relax, grab some popcorn, whatever you want, your favorite beverage. And let's just talk about some freaking Transformers. All right, all right, all right. All right. Up first, as always, add-on kits, add-on kits, add-on kits for days. So last week, DNA Design showed us a silhouette, which I missed that. I wish we got more of those. And everybody knew it was going to be the Samurai set for Prowl uh, when he was an animated. And we got some confirmation now that they are going to release this. Looks really good. Man, he's got a big old helmet. I know that. But he got a nice little stand. You can, you know, display everything. It does change into the sidecar for the motorcycle. And uh, looks pretty good. I actually might get this. It looks pretty freaking awesome. So, yeah, this is DK42. This is Legacy Prowl Upgrade Kits. And expected to be released in August of 2023. So, very nice. So, there you go. That's some, uh, yeah, great stuff. <laughs> and then I came across this. And I don't know really where you can get these at. But this is uh, Blaster's Chest Readouts. Uh, this is via Transformers underscore 78 on TFW 2005. And this is for the deformation space, uh, recording and lens. And uh, this looks like you got some little cutouts that you can use to enhance your uh, blaster from a you know, deformation space. So it looks pretty cool. It comes in different colors, purple, pink, uh, looks like black and blue. So I don't know where, if you can get these, I can, you know, if I find out some more information, I'll definitely uh, put it out there. But yeah, you got some blaster chest readouts and I don't know who they're from, but they look pretty cool. Well, all right, folks, let's move on to third party legends. And we get our, not our first look, but we get another look at uh, Magic Square. This is their vortex that goes with the Combaticons. Really excited for this set. I should be getting swindled in anytime soon. Uh, I haven't, they haven't got a shipping notice, but they said it's on, it's in transit. So uh, we'll see, but yeah, got Brawl, I like him. So yeah, this is Vortex, and this is from Magic Square. Man, get my collection. Come on now. And it looks like Kane Toys is keep on trucking along with their Predacons, and I can't wait. So we get our first, uh, well, not really first look, but uh, you know, a new prototype look at uh, Racer Claw. He is the leader, and man, he is beefy. I like it. I cannot wait. I cannot wait for this. I think Gorilla Pants is up next, and uh, yeah, really excited for this. So it looks really good, both in alt mode and bot mode. And I cannot wait to combine these to form the little legend scale Preda King. So there you go, King Toys, and this is their Razor Claw. Man, hurry up and get my collection. All right, looks like we got some new stuff from Mechanic Toys. We got a Shattered Glass Blitzwing. Yeah, yeah, I love their Blitzwing. Actually, I love their Triple Changers. Really good. The Astro Train, all of them waiting for Sandstorm to be released. Uh, but looks like they recolored their uh, Blitzwing into Shattered Glass colors. Looks like a light purple and some black and stuff and some red in there. Uh, like the weapons, man, that sword, that got a nice little cherry uh, metallic red. Looks really good. So yeah, definitely gonna get this. They're, you know, really pretty decent, affordable and everything, or can be affordable. And uh, they're really fun. Yeah, really good on the triple changer. So there you go. Mechanic Toys is giving us a Shattered Glass Blitzwing. All right, so a couple weeks ago, I teased a little uh, Pengu Toys, their live convoy. And uh, now we got uh, prototype picks and it looks pretty freaking awesome. So this is based off the perfect effect design. Um, if you have that, it's kind of like a stylized Leo convoy. And it uh, looks pretty good. Like both modes. The bot mode looks good. The alt mode looks pretty good too as well. Uh, so yeah, I'll probably, I'll probably in for this. It looks pretty nice. It's probably going to be, you know, decent, you know, you know affordable. Uh, probably won't be that much. Probably looking about, about 50, 60 bucks maybe, I think. How much was our Omega? I forgot, like 80 bucks. So this should be around 50 or 60 or something like that. Don't know for sure, but that's what I'm just guessing. But yeah, it looks pretty good. I'm definitely in for it. So there's Pangu Toys. This is their Leo or Leo Convoy. And it looks really awesome. And it looks like Rising Force is chugging along as well. Uh, we get a new, I guess, a new head sculpt, I guess. And we got to look at Dragstrip as well. I think he's going to be the next one. Um, I have both the ones they have out. And uh, pretty good. I I'm excited for their Minasaur. So there you go. We got some more pictures. And I wish they put out the rest of their stuff. Rising Force and their Stunticon. 
And for New Age Toys, it looks like H50 Scott is going to be released soon, which I actually paid for my pre-order. So uh, hopefully I'll be getting that, this is, uh, or getting that soon. Uh, this is their hound, and I'm excited. It looks really good. Can't wait for it, man. So there you go. Uh, in New Age Toys, H50 Scott is shipping out right now. Man, can't wait. And also shipping out, which is going to hurt my wallet, this is H53D. This is Michael, the... This is their uh, before Transformers, or the kind of, I guess you could use it in your die clone as one. Uh, but yeah, this one uh, got the box art for that. Looks really good. Definitely get this one. May pass on the EX version. I don't know. It kind of looks, you know, it's different. You know, I guess that could be toy uh, colors instead of tune colors like the first one. Uh, but definitely going to get the black and red one. Looks really good. New Age Toys. All right, let's move on to MP Third Party News. And it looks like Light Toys is making two versions of Slipstream. So they're the ones making that huge Metroplex. I don't think they've released anything yet, uh, but I think their Metroplex is going to come out sometime. Uh, but it looks like we got two new versions of some Seekers, for uh, or female Seekers, uh, Slipstream. So you got two on the right are the ones I'm talking about. So yeah, I don't know if they're, it, it's 3D printed, so I don't know for sure if they're going to release them or not, but... Uh, here you go. We got two uh, slip streams. All right, like toys. And it looks like from hands on, we get our MB24 first color test shot building in progress. So this is Dark Wind, I think, or is it Black Wing? I get so confused <laughs> which of the wings are that they combined with uh, Dread Wind or Dread Wing. I don't know, but hey, this is a first color, color test shot for MB24 from Vance Hobby. Golly, I think this one is Darkwing or uh, Dark Wind. And also from Vance Hobby, this is MB 17A. This is a uh, Galvia Triano. This is the uh, recolor of Megatron from Armada. And uh, we get our first look at the box. And uh, this looks good. I'm definitely in for this one. I love the Megatron. Definitely going to get the, uh, the Galvatron one as well. So this is MB 17A Galva Tyrano. Tyrano? God. Ugh, I get so tongue-tied with these things. And uh, this is fans' hobby. Yeah. And Dreamstar Toys is showing off their fourth edition of their Superion, or their Aerial Bots. This is Air Raid, I think it is. Uh, like I said, this is the fourth one. Uh, I still need to get the second one. I think the third one is going to be released this summer, I think, to be, uh, I think that's what I read. But uh, this is Air Raid. Uh, this is an early prototype, so it's like blue uh, plastic and everything, so that's pretty cool. Uh, but looks good. Uh, I'm excited to get the rest of them so I can uh, build Superion because he looks freaking awesome. He is highly stylized. If you don't like that, you're probably not going to like these. But this is Dreamstar Toys, and this is their Air Raid. And I know a lot of Beach Wars fans have been waiting for this. This is Transars Toys. This is their Silver Boat. And it's T-A-B-M-W, I'm sorry, B-W-M-12 Lightning is what they're calling him. But we know him as Silver Boat. And yeah, looks good. I can't wait to get some fusers, man. I want definitely want Quick Strike, uh, but I'm happy to get a Silver Boat as well. So there you go, man. Transars Toys, they do a great stuff. I'm, I'm really excited for this. And this is their Silver Boat. Yeah, get my collection. So I think I may have showed this a couple weeks ago as well. This is MHZ Toys. Uh, this is our Fleet Commander Hurricane. This is Cyclonus, but he's in Shattered Glass colors. And it looks like they got a limited release or, you know, or like an exclusive. And there's two versions, actually. There's an MH01B and an MH01C. Both are Shattered Glass decos, but one of them has silver forearm. So there's a little difference, I guess. So yeah, if you are interested in a, uh, you know, Shattered Glass MP uh, Cyclonus, here you go, MHZ, or MH, yeah, MHZ Toys has you covered, golly. So I ran across this and I have no idea what it is, but it looks pretty freaking awesome. It's a dragon that transforms into a robot. So there you go, it's a first alloy finished product from Fing Bio Anime, and a uh, finished product can be moved by the dragon. Uh, like I said, it does have some die cast parts. Uh, SMA shipping time is gonna be around June, so that's the first time I've seen this. Uh, the dragon body is about 105 centimeters long. The body has more than 40 movable, uh, movable positions. The dragon claws are independent, and it can also adjust to the roar shape as well. Armor shape, the height is going to be about 25 centimeters, and everything. So weapon includes a dragon king gun and a dragon blade. And uh, I wonder if the stands come with it too, so you can display it in dragon mode. But yeah, it looks pretty cool. I love the electricity thing going on, look, or the you know the fire breathing, not electricity, but fire breathing. But this looks pretty cool. I don't know who's making it, but it looks freaking awesome. There you go, a dragon that transforms. Awesome sauce. Well, all right, folks, let's move on to official Transformer news, and we got a hot pre-order. Transformers Beast Wars BWVS03. This is Cheetor versus Waspinator. Uh, looks like uh, there are recent generation molds done up with extra paint and attention in a two-pack format. You can get these at, looks like Chosen Prime, Robot Kingdom, BBTS, 
Tia Source. Uh, I think you can get the other ones too as well, Primal and uh, Megatron. I think uh, Rhinox and Scorponox were a two-pack, I think. Don't quote me on that. But, yeah, they got some two-packs and uh, better paint jobs. If you want these, definitely go hit them up and uh, get some pre-orders in. All right. And it looks like Rise of the Beast Mainline Bumblebee Movie Repacks found in France. Seems that we still have some more Rise of the Beast Mainline toys to find on the shelves. Found in uh, France, uh, we have repacks of the Bumblebee Movie Energon Igniter's Power Optimus Prime, Megatron, and it looks like we got a Beetle Bumblebee now as well. So yeah, happy hunting. And it looks like we got some additional images from AMC Transformers Rise of the Beast Optimus Prime Truck Popcorn Tin. So this popcorn tin is big Optimus Prime truck with a trailer. The tin trailer roof opens for you to fill it up with popcorn. And according to some, tweet, uh, some tweets, the wheels move and it should be out by the first week of Rise of the Beast in theater. So if you have an AMC theater, you can pick up this uh, big old uh, Transformer or big old Optimus Prime popcorn thing. All right. Now the uh, other one has a, you know, Optimus Prime head and it lights up and everything. So that's pretty cool. So there you go. Popcorn. All right, up next we got some new images from Rise of the Beast World Premiere event in Singapore. So this event was held at the beautiful Marina Bay Sands in cooperation with UIP Singapore, Hasbro Singapore, and Geek Culture. This was quite a great event for all fans to attend where they could see the real life size uh, Rise of the Beast Mirage statue. An impressive show of projection over the surrounding buildings with laser and firecrackers showing, followed by a red carpet with all the movie casts. The theater entrance was decorated with big posters over the ceiling and walls plus some uh, toy expeditions. To top it all, the movie was presented by the main cast and theater audiences. So that's pretty cool. So if you're in Singapore, you got to do this, and uh, that would be freaking awesome. So there you go. Images from Rise of the Beast World Premiere event in Singapore. And it looks like Transformers Studio Series Rise of the Beast Voyager Cheetor and Battle Trap are out in U.S. retail. Uh, this was wave 14, I'm sorry, wave 19 of Voyagers, and they were found uh, several stores in the U.S. over the last hours. Uh, happy hunting. Well, who doesn't love collaboration? So if you play Fortnite, you might be getting a collaboration with Transformers. So it looks like the image seemed to be a part of a Fortnite loading screen where you, we can see Rise of the Beast uh, Optimus Prime skin. There's no concrete information about it, so we suggest you take it with a grain of salt until we get some official confirmation. Uh, once I do, I'll definitely put that out. In any case, some well-known Fortnite leakers have uh, mentioned that the image is legit and the key art is Fortnite Chapter 4 Season 3. So yeah, if you play Fortnite, you might get to actually uh, play as Optimus Prime. Well, that's pretty cool, I guess. All right, we got some new images from a Symbiote Studios Transformer Slug, uh, I'm sorry, Slag Plush Revealed. So we got an officially licensed Symbiote Studios uh, Transformer Plush scheduled for to be $29.99 purchased at Comic-Con in San Diego this July. So if you're there at Comic-Con, you can get this plush of Slag. All right, good stuff. And we got some new pin sets from Icon Heroes. This is Transformers Kawiya pin sets. So we got Autobots, Optimus Prime, Grimlock, and Bumblebee, and Decepticons, Megatron, Starscream, and Soundwave. So you can secure your pre-orders, I guess, on the Icon Heroes website. Uh, they're $35 each uh, for each set. And that, yeah, if you like some pins, there you go. All right, so I came across this. Is, I don't know what this is called or what it is. It's from Hasbro, so it's official. I guess it's a Bruco Blockman. And as you can tell, it's a seeker, you know, teaser. I don't know what this is. Is it Legos or something? The wings look really small. Uh, but I, I don't know what this is so far. But once I get some more information, I'll definitely put it out there so you can tell it's Starscream. Uh, but this is a seeker teaser from Broco Blockman. So, yeah, there you go. And up next, we got a Nemesis Prime from, I'm going to jack this name up. I know, Katabukiya Bishoju, uh, the Transformers, Decepticon, Unicronian, Herald, Nemesis Prime. So they did a Megatron and a Optimus Prime, kind of an anime female statue kind of thing going on. And now we got a recolor of Nemesis Prime. So if you like the other two, I haven't got any of the, I didn't get Megatron or Optimus Prime. I may pick them up, uh, but this looks pretty good. I like the Nemesis Prime one. It looks really nice. So there you go. Nemesis Prime coming at you. Yeah, it looks like we got a variant found. So Studio Series SS100 Deluxe Rise of the Beast Bumblebee was found with a fully painted uh, fully painted face. Uh, this was found in Smith's Toys in Wales, UK. Uh, the Bumblebee features a fully painted face with dark silver, uh, which reveals the mold details. It sure looks like an improvement over the original face deco. Uh, we have comparison shots with the original release next to the new variant, and you can spot the differences. So there you go. Variant found for uh, Bumblebee from Rise of the Beast Studio Series. So it looks like Transformers Earthspark is coming to Netflix. So a new Netflix slot for Transformers Earthspark with information of the cartoon can be found. 
but the episodes are not up yet. It's good to remark that it has been shown up in the UK and in South America servers, but not yet in the US. So uh, yeah, if you want to watch Earth Spark on Netflix, it's coming pretty soon. All right, good stuff. And we got new stock images of the upcoming Transformers MPG-06 Masterpiece Trainbot Can. Kane, I think is how you say it. We have new images showing off his posability, even holding rain sword and the realistic uh, diesel locomotive alt mode as well. We also have a clear look at his combiner mode as the rain's crotch and the extra image of the complete rain combiner. And yeesh, I don't know. I'm getting these, but I'm getting them for the trains. I'm not getting them for the combiner mode. I got the Moon Studios, but there you go. We got some new stuff from Kayan, and this is their train bots, man. All right. Man, that combined mode. And we also get our first look of in-stock images of the new Transformers Masterpiece MP58 Hoist. So we have a clear look at Masterpiece Hoist showing off his posability range, alt mode, and all accessories, which even include an alien mask from that G1 episode, Hoist Goes to Hollywood. Uh, Pre-orders are uh, going to be on uh, June 6th, and so yeah, that's pretty cool. So uh, who's in for a uh, hoist for uh, you know MP? I know we got you know Bad Q, we got X Transbots, we got Fans Toys. Which one are you going for? All right, hoist. And it looks like 3-0 has shared out their first product image of Transformers Rise of the Beast DLX scale Bumblebee. 3 Zero has done a lot of Bumblebees and this one adds to the ranks. He looks very sharp already. Translated version of the message about him is available below. Uh, looks like he continues to be a beloved Autobot legend featuring battle mode mask and LED light up functions uh, and everything. So yeah, I love, love 3 Zero. And also, from my, uh, thanks to my friend, uh, my boy, uh, Eric, he showed me some pictures of the new Primal that's coming as well. And we do get a new uh, pics of uh, uh, Bumblebee, too, with all the accessories he has. So, man, I'm excited. That Primal looks freaking badass. I cannot wait for the Yolo Park uh, you know, model kit. Uh, should be getting that some, sometime soon. But I'm definitely in for the 3-0 stuff. Now, this is a DLX. This is the bigger size. Uh, but, man, that, bu that Bumblebee and that Primal looks really good. And Optimus Prime is probably going to look good, as good as well. So, there you go. 3-0. Zero is giving us Rise of the Beast DLX scale Bumblebee and uh, also Optimus Primal. Golly, hurry up and get my collection. And we get our first look at the upcoming Legacy Evolution Deluxe Shadow Striker. It's a homage to the Cyberverse character. The keen eyed out, uh, the keen eyed out there may recognize some features similar to the RID 2001 Sideburn. Perhaps this mold may be retooled to that in the future, which that would be awesome. I would love some RID stuff. So there you go. Uh, we got first look at Legacy Evolution Deluxe Shadow Striker. Man, give us Cyburn. That'd be freaking awesome. All right, we got new images from Takara Tomy Transformers Rise of the Beast Optimus Primal. So this uh, elusive Cyclops listing is now officially live, and it's uh, labeled as the Takara Tomy uh, Rise of the Beast Optimus Primal. Not quite masterpiece and not quite mainline. This is a premium design and deco done by Takara. Retail around $60, and ship date is going to be October of this year. Uh, got mine. I got mine from BBTS. You can get it from uh, Entertainment Earth, uh, Chosen Prime, Ages 3 and Up looks really good you can add on you know the weaponizer if you want to uh he has a uh, two missiles he has the swords uh, he also has the gimmick with the forearm cannons so it looks really good i'm excited for this so there you go rise of the beast optimus primal from takara told me all right get my collection so it looks like Japan is getting a crowdfunding campaign with the Lunar Cruiser Prime. So Takara Tomy will be producing a transformable version of the concept Toyota JAXA Luna Cruiser. This is planned pressurized vehicles designed to carry humans on the moon. The toy version is a Lunar Cruiser Prime and it's pretty much what you think it is. Vehicle mode, pretty spot on version for the concept lander. Robot mode is Optimus Prime. Lots of red, gray, blue present within the white rover parts mixed in. While the ent uh, entire page is in Japanese, we believe this will be available for general retail sales in Japan eventually. Uh, if you order via Japanese site campfire.jp, uh, you will get in a hand a bit earlier and will come with some other bonus items as well. Uh, we believe the special MP scale of display stand and everything. So I'm hoping that maybe we get a chance to get this. It looks pretty cool. You know, something, you know, out of the, you know, norm for Optimus Prime. But there you go. Japanese crowdfunding campaign for Luna Cruiser Prime. And in hand images of Buzzworthy Bumblebee Studio Series SS-102 Rise of the Beast Voyager Optimus Prime. This Target exclusive in the U.S. is a heavy retool of the Studio Series SS-38 Bumblebee Movie Optimus Prime. Now with almost all new parts, we have a clear shot to the robot mode as well as the alt mode and some additional comparison shots next to the Studio Series Gamer Edition Optimus Prime and also uh, Beast, uh, Rise of the Beast Scourge. 
So there you go. In heat images of Bumblebee Studio Series Rise of the Beast Voyager Optimus Prime. All right. I hope I can find this at Target. All right. Who doesn't love collaborations? Another one. Yay. So Transformers X Jurassic Park collaborative set. This is Decepticon Dilophicon versus Autobot JP12. So Hasbro's been doing these transfer collaborations for a few years now with memorable releases including the Ghostbusters, Back to the Future, and even animated X series or animated X-Men series. And for Jurassic Park's the collaboration back in 2021 uh, was a highlight where we had the uh, Connect T-Rex and the vehicle attack scene, which looked really good in the box. So for the 40th anniversary of Jurassic Park, we're getting another Dino vs. Vehicle Transformers mashup. This time based on the scene where Dennis Nerdy had an unfortunate run-in with a Dilophosaurus who was uh, who had no intention to play and fetch. The two-pack includes a new Decepticon Dilophicon, 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 <laughs> golly, uh, who transformed into a Dilophosaurus and robot in 20 steps includes a Venom and Blast effect and also the JP-12 based on the Jeep Wrangler Sierra staff vehicle also converts in robot mode in 23 steps. So the JP-12 appears to be loosely based on the Nerdy, which has a rain hat, glasses, and a can of Barbasol shaving cream, which will be probably stolen uh, uh, dinosaur embryos, uh, which is kind of confusing given that JP-12 identifies as an Autobot, Maybe the Autobots are looking to rewrite the Dinobot origin stories. We're not for sure yet. So this is uh, retailing at $75 and is on pre-order right now uh, through Amazon. It is an Amazon exclusive, so if you want to have your chance. Now, my boy uh, Extra Zero had a big you know, thing is that it's in the box that you know, it doesn't have a clear uh, through it, so it's all boxed. You can't see it. And then, you know, the, uh, you know, art doesn't look that good as well. So that kind of, uh, you know, might, you know, not a lot of people may not want to get it because you can't display it in box like the other one. Cause it looked really good. Uh, but there you go. Another, uh, collaboration with a uh, Jurassic Park. All right. And we got a color sample of Flames Toys Fiora Model G1 Hound. This figure is part of the easy to build Fiora model line using a new style lot design. Uh, we have uh, only a second update of the gray prototype since February of 2022. It seems the official release is finally coming soon. So there you go. It's going to be pretty cool if you like the uh, Flames Toys kind of thing, if you like models. Uh, so that's Flames Toys Fear Model G1 Hounds color samples. And another collaboration, Transformers Rise of the Beast X Roblox collaboration. Uh, we have another uh, collaboration shared with you this time. Rise of the Beast teamed up with a popular online game platform, Roblox. Uh, the collaboration is a limited weapon fighting simulator game. Uh, return to the action and spectacle of the captured moviegoers around the world. Rise of the Beast uh, takes on, you know, from the 90s and all that good stuff. So, yeah, if you like to play these uh, online games, there you go. Uh, we're collaborating with uh, Roblox. All right. Yeah, it looks like we got a first look at Transformers Dom Select Toys 2023 VHS Mini Mates box set. You've got the touch, reach out, and touch all the new Mini Mate uh, box sets featuring new characters and new packaging. This four pack is inspired by the 1986 Transformers the movie. Features two inch fully posable and uh, fully interchangeable figures of Ultra Magnus, Hot Rod, Thundercracker, and Stasis Locked Optimus Prime. Limited to only 1,500 pieces, it comes packaged in a VHS style uh, slipcase and original movie art. Awesome. So it's about $29.99. Pre orders are with uh, you know, Big Bad Toy Store, Chosen Prime, Ages 3 and Up. You can go there and get you a nice pre order, some mini mates. All right. And we get our first look at Transformers Rise of the Beast Mainline Beast Battle Master Air Racer. The toy was found in, looks like, Thailand. And like other previous be uh, Beast Battle Master toys, it's a beast which transforms into a weapon. Air Racer transforms into a bow gun or a bow or a gun for other figures for five millimeter port so yeah it's just a nice little accessory little weaponizer so there you go that is a uh, beast battle master air razor and the last thing we're going to talk about is three zero md lex transformers magnus so we're getting an ultra magnus you know if, if you get an optimus prime you're always going to get a white prime uh, we did get a nemesis one as well uh, I did a review of him. Go back there and check it out if you don't mind. But this is going to be Ultra Magnus. And yeah, definitely get this one as well because it's a great, great mold except for that little thing on the uh, legs. But anyway, anyways, there is a 3-0 MDLX Magnus or Ultra Magnus. Well, all right, folks, that's all I have this week for news. And man, jam-packed full of a lot of stuff. So what do y'all think about the Jurassic Park collaboration? Uh, I really wish it didn't have the uh, just the you know the box. I wish it had a see-through plastic so you could display it like that because, like I said, the last one with the T-Rex looked really good in the box. Uh, but yeah, we got a lot of great stuff, man. Rise of the Beast. Man, we got less than a week that it's going to come out. Man, I cannot wait. We got Legends news everywhere. We got official. We got... 
third party. Man, it's just a great time to be a transformer collector. So hit me up some likes, shares, prayers, and care bears. Hit that sub button for me if you don't mind. Hit me up with some comments. Tell me, what, are you excited for any of this stuff? And I guess I'll see you in the next uh, What's New in Transformers. And as always, be good to yourself. Man, hell freaking Transformers. And good night, folks.